Hello and welcome back to our forest challenge. It's episode 54 and we're in the first part of August. We're up to 2.7 million. That will be the majority of um, after the last episode. I did a bit of tidying up with um, with all the the trees out the back of there where we're doing a making another field. I put some of them into the sawmill up the top there, so that'll be the planks just selling every hour. Um, we'll have also got the money from the electricity from the VGA as well. Uh, in fact, let's go and have a look at how much digest it got, because that was that's one of the main reasons why we're putting it through there. I mean, to start with, it was to get the money from the electricity, and do we get meat then as well? I don't know how to do on this one. 157,000 litres of digest it right um, we won't need that for a couple of episodes now though so we finished the last episode by treating quite a lot of our fields um, so that's how it looks now but we need to plant in one two three four five five fields we need to plant stroke seed today and then we've got the potatoes to harvest as well however before we can do that there's two that needs liming um, which I didn't really factor in I was on the right page anyway on that yes sorry three that needs liming so we're gonna have to get them done and that's what I think we'll do straight away um, we'll go get the let's get the new Holland there's our line spreader there it only takes 100 horsepower so the new Holland shouldn't have an issue even though we're going uphill it should be alright I can't remember what we put the spreader on before actually I remember it's quite heavy isn't it when it's full and it was causing whatever was pulling it last time I think it was causing it quite a um, to move around quite a bit especially coming downhill But we shall see. Um, so, on this, just get straight. On um, on this field, when we ended the last episode, we ended with all the all the um, fertilising, didn't we? We tried to get the digestate down on this field. It just wasn't having it. There was no way. Even the John Deere, which is like four hundred and whatever horsepower. 120 horsepower something like that um, although it needs fixing it still wasn't pulling the weight up up the bank it was just there was loads of slipping I think I actually showed all the slipping in the um, come on come on come on uh, in the video itself it just it wasn't happening so we ended up just getting the dyno and using the um, the liquid fertilizer instead The other fields are alright. I think we had to use the dino in the field just behind us, the one that we've just been up against. Uh, that one there. But I said to now in, in the last video, I was doubtful that we would be able to use the digestate spreader, the slurry spreader, just on fields like this because you need it to be flat. And that isn't just because of the power of the um, the tractor. Which obviously it affects, but it just doesn't spread. If the land isn't flat, it doesn't spread very well. It misses bits out, so yeah, that's pretty much a no go, really. But it doesn't matter. I don't mind having sort of two um, two methods of doing it. I mean, that dino just flew around. There was no issues whatsoever. I'm not sure what we're going to be putting in. Well, we know it's going to be canola or sunflowers. Um, but I'm going to have to have a look to see what we're short of in the minute. I seem to think we had quite a lot of canola fields. Well, there it, there it goes, slipping around. Yeah, I think we had quite a lot of canola fields already in, so there's a good chance that the majority... Is there three fields over here that needs 
planting there is, yeah. The majority is going to be sunflowers. I wouldn't mind if we've got room to do it, but I don't know if we have. Um, instead of just selling the canola oil and sunflower oil off, um, building the... There's like a crisp factory, isn't there? And you need the oil for that. I don't know if it's just sunflower oil or if you can use the canola oil as well, I'm not sure. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a look at that because obviously we produce potatoes anyway. And that's all you need, potatoes and the oil. Just wondered if we maybe get more out of our products if we do that. Just get a bit more money coming in. There it goes again. It's really unsteady. It's not even just this tractor either. Like I said, the John Deere, much heavier, much bigger, um, more powerful tractor. It was doing exactly the same. Right. One last bit for this one. Say one last bit. Not quite. We'll have to have a look, see where we are with our sugar cane as well. I know there was going to be. It took about eight months or something. Oh my god, that's awful. Get this bit done, then that little bit further down, then we'll move on to the next one. Little bit here. <laughs> it's like it's like doing a like rallying, isn't it? The amount it's moving. Where are we at with our? Let's just quickly look. While it's going up that bank. So we're still miles off with our sugar cane. But it's probably only been in the ground maybe about three months, hasn't it? Three, four months at the absolute most. I can't remember what month we planted it, but I can't, I can't imagine. It's more than four months. Out of ear as well, so it's going to be... It's going to be quite a long time till that's ready. I can't remember what the... Um, what the period for sugar beet is, that's not as as long, is it? So we might be getting the um, getting used to the sugar beet before we actually use this actually use this, actually use the sugar cane I think with um, with the money that we've made so far, I think we are going to invest in new attractors. I think we'll be daft not to now, especially with some of them are really struggling. I know the John Deere itself that needs it's completely in need of uh, repair, like it's at it's absolute bottom. And even, oh, what was I doing? It might have just been stump grinding or something like that. It was something that you would think it would have no issue with. You could feel it was, uh, it was struggling. Okay, what I think I'll do is, let's just take that off for a second. So, Field wise, we've got one, two, three of these over here, and we've got sunflowers in there and canola in there. So, two fields we're going to put sunflowers in, one we're going to put canola. Um, I'd suggest we'll probably put sunflowers in maybe them two and canola in this one. Definitely sunflowers in that one because I think that's our biggest, isn't it? Uh, So we need to finish liming them couple. Oh my... How on earth has that happened? 
I wasn't even pressing it and I've literally stopped it as well. Oh, that is awful. I can't even get out without doing more damage. That, that is sickening. It's sunflowers in there, isn't it? No, it's not. It's canola. But either way... Oh my god, that's just going to look awful. For like months to come, that is just going to look awful. Fantastic. Right. Let's get time lapse on. We'll get the liming done. We'll get the seeding done. I'll probably not do the rolling on time lapse because I tend to do. I might do. We'll see how long it takes, but I tend to do the rolling after we finish recording, like the last thing we do on the um, on the night before we before we go into the next day is the rolling, just because it's rolling. It's really boring. But we'll see. We'll see how long the time lapse goes on for. Um, so sit back, enjoy the music, and I shall not be long. Pretty much, what are, we, what are we on? 10 past 3. It took a little bit longer than what I thought it was going to. Um, I forgot that this needed ploughing up. This and the field up there on the right hand side, what was, um, what did we have in there? Red beet. Need ploughing, so it took that little bit longer than, like I said, like I thought it would. We're probably not going to get everything planted that we wanted to get planted um, however I mean we still have we've got the second part of August I just don't know what to do to finish this one we might get the potatoes out the ground possibly let's back up there that's something we other than this field on the left hand side, we don't actually have any other field with potatoes in, do we? That might be something that we can do with this one, because we've seen with the amount of, what did we get out of here? Was it carrots? We've got like a ridiculous amount. This field's like quite a bit bigger than what I think I first give a credit for. As much as you can give a field credit for being big. I think potatoes might be good in this one. And then the one up the top, maybe carrots or parsnips, depending on what. I can't remember exactly what we've got in on which fields. But yeah, 20 past 3 already, that's absolutely flown over. I mean, there was, a, like I said, there was a lot more to do. Uh, I'm not sure how the time, how long the time loss is going to be. Some of the segments were quite long when I was recording, they were like 2 minutes long, which I don't normally do. I normally... Each segment I tried to get around about a minute, um, but some of these were a little bit longer. Right, 
Last one this side. Then we've got that little bit over there. And that is the... Um, that's the ploughing done for a deer. Like I said, we'll, the one up the top we'll do tomorrow. I just want to do something a little bit different towards the end of the video, whether that's getting the getting the potatoes out or um, I was going to say extending the grass field but that involves just ploughing up again doesn't it I do want to um, to extend that grass field in this in-game month because then I think we'll get one cut off it and then it'll all be ready at the same time, the next time around. Right, it's just this last little bit down here, isn't it? I don't know what I get next, tractor wise. I know beforehand we were mentioning about spending the money on at least one new tractor, probably a couple actually. I'll have to look through to see what there is. See if there's um I mean the one the obvious one that I always come back to in fact I'm just gonna leave this parked up here because I won't need to be over there anyway. Um, the one I always think of straight away is the fast track because obviously it's my favourite one. Um, but that would be like me sort of medium medium tractor if I get it. That wouldn't be a large one. See where the uh, where's the potato one at? Is that it? There it is. So yeah, I could possibly go for one of them. As for the large tractor, I'm not sure. Uh, get that dropped off there. There we go. Let's do around the top first, make a bit of a headland. There we go. I'll probably have to make more. I was just so I can get turned around. I'll make it easier to turn around up the top there. I think off camera once. Oh, we need to roll, don't we? That's what I need to do off camera. I was going to say I'll get more of the. Um, the area for the new part for the new field whichever whatever we're going to put in with either sugar cane or sugar beet um, I'll get that cleared but I've got three fields that need rolling that will take some time as well did we buy a bigger roller I don't think we did did we that is what we'll do before we go off we'll spend some cash on a bigger roller because just takes far too long with the one that we've got. I mean this harvesting doesn't take far too long at all does it? It's absolutely crazy how quick this is.
I still need to build some sort of garage or something over here to start maintaining all the equipment over this side and a, um, a diesel tank as well. Filling up quite quickly, isn't it? A third full already. And this one will, um, this field will probably turn that around in the next episode as well, second part of August. So we'll have this one to do, we'll have the one just up there to do and then the planting of the one just ahead of us as well it's kind of all come at the same time hasn't it they're just there was loads of harvesting to do in the last one and then it might sort of spread out a bit with us putting different crops in for the next time Okay, look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump. I'm not going to put another time lapse on. Let's jump. I'll get most of this field done. Then we'll come back and then we'll go back over to the farm by a roller. And maybe start with one field and then that'll be pretty much the episode, I think. So, I shall not be long. Just as the shadows are coming over, we pretty much done. A couple of runs. What are we on? Half four. I've, um, in the meantime, if I was doing it, I've been off. I've downloaded, I think, only one roller. There isn't many at all. Um, not on console anyway. I can't imagine, to be honest, on PC. There's, looking at the difference between the amount of um i've got things like cedars um sprays anything really weeders there's just for rollers there's hardly any any choice to be honest uh god it's got really dark on it i think what we'll do after um after we finish this is we'll buy we'll buy a new tractor we'll buy a new roller With the tractor, we're going to go big. Um, probably, to be honest, far too big for the roller that we're going to get, but it's not something we'll use all the time on it. It's just... Um, it's just to probably use it for today's episode, that's all. And... We've got plenty of money, so we might as well. Far more than what I, uh, I expected. A little bit over here as well, and then we are done. So we got one full load, and then... Ah, oh, that wasn't one. Thought it was. Must have been where I'd missed, missed it originally. Right, that's going to empty in there. So that's going to give us, what, 95,000. We probably would have had... Nah, it's not going down that fast. So we probably 97,000, something like that, we'll have got up there, which isn't bad at all, really. Right, let's... Um, let's quickly get in the John Deere. So I might take this plough over as well and get a bigger plough ready for ne In fact, that is 100% what we're going to do. We'll buy the plough in the next episode because I'll probably have a look through the um, the mods at a new plough. But we'll take these over. We'll get these sold. I think I got this John Deere second hand, didn't I? 
So, in fact, I must have the size of it. There's no way when I bought this I'll have been able to afford a brand new. And then the plough, we might as well get a bigger one. both yes right repair that sell the plow repair that for 16 grand my word and sell the John Deere right 83,000 we got back for that we're gonna spend so much more on, <laughs> on what we're about to buy I uh, don't want that one want that one so rollers um, where are we at? Rollers. How big are these? 6.2. That's 24. These are the ones I've just downloaded. Because I've only got small ones, but that like that's because of the series that we do. Um 20 meters. And 11.4. What was our what's ours? Ours is just a four meter one. I think even the 10 would the 11.4 will be all right one. I think that was going to be too big. Let's get that. 11.4 meters. We need 80 horsepower for it. Um, I don't know what is going to pull it. It doesn't really matter. Like. Uh, Grass roll, field roller, that matters. Yeah, we want a field roller, not a grass roller. What's that bottom one? Yeah, we'll keep it as is. So, 60 grand bought. Now, one of the tractors that I want to buy. So, large tractors. I can't remember what is we've just sold. Was it an AR we had? Is that what we had? I can't even remember. Um, right, we want something big, as in like this big. 488 grand, what's that? Up to 555 horsepower, 600, I mean that's even bigger. 692 horsepower, that's, I like the look of that one. 670 horsepower for the John Deere version. 692 for the wheeled. I think I fancy a track one. I think the problem with the big bud is you can't, it's very limited what you can use it for, isn't it? Because of what goes on the back of it. You can't get, I'm, I'm sure there's a mod and I'm sure there's a way around it, um, but I'm pretty sure you can't get a mod. Sorry, you, you can't get a three point link on it. Uh, which makes it difficult. Right, let's. I'm fancying the case, I think. That. 614 grand, but 692 horsepower. I think that's the one. That is a beast. Let's have a look just quickly in ploughs. Um, although I want to, I want to get cracking because we've got quite a bit dear where on earth is ploughs. There we are up there. I think we're probably going to have to get. Oh, that one. Sixteen. I've used that one before, haven't I? Although it might have been on FS19, it might not have actually been on this one. God, 22 metres. 26 metres, that may be wider than some of our fields. Right, ploughs, we'll have a look for. 
in the next episode, I think. We definitely need a new one, though. Um, well, we literally do need a new one for the... For the next episode, because we've got at least one field to plough up. <laughs> right, it's going to take some getting used to. There we go. Right, I know this tractor is far too big for this roller. However, I want to use the tractor. What we'll do is, whatever medium tractor we get, that is what we'll probably put on here, because I know it only said something like 115 horsepower, but if you look at some of the fields that it's going to be getting used on. Are we working? Yeah, we're working. If you look at some of the fields that it's going to be getting used on, um, to go up banks like this, it's going to need extra horsepower, isn't it? I mean, this is just having... There's no issues at all with this, is there? No drama. Nearly 700 horsepower. And the colour matches. So I'm more than happy with this. We've still got over 2 million as well. Um, like I said, we will spend... We will spend more on a... Um, oh, that takes a while to go down, doesn't it? We will spend more on a plough. And probably a medium tractor as well. Come on, get on. Probably a medium tractor as well um, in the next episode. Which will take us under under two million or will it I suppose depending on how much wood we put through that um through that sawmill means we might still be over okay right I think this episode's probably gonna have gone on enough um there was a quite a big time lapse in the middle wasn't it so it might not be as long as what I'm thinking but I'm going to crack on. It's like nearly half five. I'm going to crack on with the rolling that we need doing, which is like three fields worth. Um, and then I might spend a bit of time just clearing a bit more of our, um, our newer area. So hopefully we can, when it gets to September, we can start doing something with it. Let's just go up the steepest bit, see if it has any issues there. God, it doesn't have to take a long time to uh, to drop. Right, so this is pretty much the steepest bit we have. Are we going to see a drop off at all? Nine mile an hour. Nine mile an hour. No issues whatsoever. Love that. Right, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again in the next one. PlayStation.